Good morning, my name is Ben Salstrom. My name is Ollie. And we are in the basement uh, doing some wiring, and I just wanted to show you really quick how much wire to pull into your box uh, before you trim it off. So right here, I've got quite a few outlets that I've already got all pulled uh, where they need to be. <clears throat> and uh, so I'm past the initial rough-in stage. But it took a little bit of playing around to figure out how much wire to actually extend past the edge of the box when I initially wired it. So uh, just as a general guideline, <clears throat> these are kind of all twisted up, but when they come into the box, I do not strip the sheathing off, so these would be still have the sheathing on them, they'd be yellow or whatever for 12 gauge. I roll them kind of towards the top, so if they come in the bottom, I kind of let them go across the back and then out the front or vice versa, if they're coming in the top, then I let them kind of go towards the bottom of the box before they come out, rather than pulling it like straight out like that. <clears throat> and then uh, I've been extending them out approximately six inches past the edge. And <clears throat> so pretty close anyway. See this one I'm gonna have to trim a little bit. I'll trim them so that they're exactly the same when I actually uh, prepare this box uh, for the uh, receptacle that will be going in here. Uh, but that's what I do. So now instead of pulling a tape measure out every time, find something that's approximately six inches like this. So every time I pulled my uh, yellow wire through <clears throat> when I was initially roughing in, I would just use this as my depth gauge, push this up against the back of the box, and then put my wire off just like so. So that's how much wire you should pull into your box. I hope this helped you out. If it did, please rate this video up and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Hit up.